how's it going? Well, there's some... Like right here, that looks kind of weird. It's kind of on both sides. But uh, the reason why it looks that way is because I've got white stripes right here. So it'll probably look better in a couple weeks. But uh, if it still looks weird and uh, you know, I might you know, have this part just shaved out and be more like a mohawk or something. Anyway, part of why I even got a haircut to begin with is because here in Washington State, they've mandated the wearing of masks in indoor public spaces again. And, you know, I've been having something covering my head uh, for, what, uh, eight months now or so? <laughs> and uh, constantly covering up this. Well, now I'm going to have to cover up this and this again? Oh, no. I mean, at that point, I might as well be wearing a niqab or a burqa or something, you know? Let's just cover up my whole face, right? <laughs> but wearing a mask is dehumanizing. It's anonymizing. It's degrading. It's uncomfortable. It looks like shit. And, you know, it steams up your glasses. I've never found a, a mask that didn't, but... Uh, but I understand why the masks are necessary. Yeah, I'm going to complain about wearing one, but that doesn't translate to me stating that we shouldn't have to wear them. So, for instance, if someone with bad breath is wearing one, you're going to smell their breath less. Even if you're not wearing a mask, you're probably not even going to smell their breath. This translates to droplets in the air being severely reduced. If my breath is fogging up my glasses, that means that my breath is both being diffused and it's traveling more vertically than out this way. This reduces the chances of water droplets making it from one person to another. This isn't rocket science. I hate this situation. I hate wearing a mask. I hate how isolated this whole scenario makes me feel. But we'll all get through this. Keep your chin up.